puddles, precipitation, and plenty of it. Precisely, really, the things that could finally, finally bust Arizona's decades-long drought. It'll percolate through the soil and come out into our reservoirs. So when we want to break a drought, this is exactly the kind of storm we want to see. The result, really, a replenishing of water in areas that need it the most. This map right here proves it. Take a look. Areas in white and yellow don't have to worry about the drought anymore. As you see right here, it is quite the change from just six months ago. Back then, in the summer of 2018, Arizona covered in red and maroon, meaning the state was suffering from an extreme and exceptional drought. But that is no longer the case. This is the kind of storm that will actually help us in the long term as well as the short term. This is what I might just call a drought busting type of storm. Scientists say this is the first time since 1997, all the way back then, that our area has been primed to snap out of a long standing drought. Welcomed weather for sure after decades of dryness. And back here live once again, take a look. I mean, the roadways are really, really getting dusted at this time with snow. This is such a rare event, needless to say, uh, even here in North Scottsdale. And you can see the median right there, palm trees, desert brush, now blanketed with snow and it keeps coming down. Obviously, quite the weather event here in North Scottsdale. We're gonna let you know if we see any accidents uh, as we go around here. Uh, but again, this is pretty unprecedented. We have not seen something like this in a very long time as snow really does start to dust and blanket parts of North Scottsdale. North Scottsdale tonight, Ryan Sims, Arizona's family.